What's up guys, here with another video today. Today, I'm going to show you guys how I made this filter right here. And I'm going to show you in 5, 4, 3, 2, corny ass. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to Photoshop, and that's a part of the crown I'm going to make. So I'm going to go to File, and I'm going to press click on New. And what we're going to do is we're going to have to set this up the way that Snapchat wants us to set it up because we are controlled by everyone. I'm just kidding, guys. Um, your width needs to be 1080 pixels and your height needs to be 1920 pixels. Okay, resolution 300, that's fine. RGB color mode. Um, I put my background content when I'm making filters as black, so it works best for me. So... I'm just go ahead and click, 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 create. Um, let's see. The first thing I really want to do with this filter is I want to get that white gradient background um, at the bottom. So, like, it'll be white down here, and then it fades to nothing, to transparent background. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on new layer right here. Okay, so I'm going to go right here with these three dots. Are at and I'm gonna go down to gradient tool. So as you see, I already have the white set up to the transparent. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click right here, like in the middle, and I'm gonna click on shift and hold it. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna click and drag all the way up, and that's gonna make me have that white gradient background. So I'm gonna click my move tool and I'm going to move this down. Because I don't want all that white down there. And plus, Snapchat isn't going to let you uh, do that. Don't worry about this. Like, you can see it's a noticeable line where it stops at. But you really won't see it once you turn the black off. Well, you will. But not when you're really using the Snapchat filter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start typing the text. So for the welcoming part, what I had was um, marquee. Um the font called Marquee, and I downloaded it off of 1001 fonts, um, I think, .com. So what I'm going to type is welcoming, and this is definitely not the color that I need to have. Uh, I just really just click on, oh, that's cute. I love blue. Blue is my favorite color, you guys. So what I'm going to do is press Command-T to transform, because I want this a little bit bigger than what it is. So I'm going to press Shift and the Alt Option key because I have a MacBook. I'm not sure what it is on Windows. So I'm going to move that out. Okay, so you see this purple, pinkish line in the middle. That shows that it is in line in the middle of the uh, filter. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a copy of this. I'm going to duplicate the layer because I'm going to show you how I got that gold glow on the back of it. So I'm going to go ahead and duplicate that. So what I want to do is make this layer, I'm going. it's on the bottom of this. Both of these are the same right now. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to file and I'm going to place a gold glitter background. So I'm clicking gold, gold glitter sample. So I'm going to place that on top of this. And you see one's on top and the other one is underneath the gold glitter. So I'm going to press enter to place that. And I'm going to click over here and I'm going to go up to create clipping mask. You can't see it now. So what you're going to do is you're going to make this into a smart object if I can find it. Oh, convert to smart object. So what you're going to do, you're going to go up here. You're going to press filter. Go down to blur. And click on, I can't pronounce the word, Ga Gaussian blur. So as you can see that this has popped up the gold in the background. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to probably bring this out a little bit. Uh, yeah. 
So now I have to make the white inside of my welcoming text that's on the top up here. So I'm going to double click this and I'm going to click on Outer Glow. So see, it already pops up the way I want it. What I have for my settings, my opacity is at 100. My blend mode is at normal. Um, I have no noise on there. Um, softer technique. Spread is at 6 and the size is at 10. And my contour is at linear. Right there, linear. So I'm going to press OK because that's how I wanted that top part to be. So I'm going to come down here and it's time for me to type in the Prince Michael. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change my font, and the font that I'm going to use for this is the heart of everything, and it's changing the font right here. So let me go ahead and type in Prince Micah, and I want this to be like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this and press the heart of everything. And I'm going to make it bigger because that's definitely small. Oh, doesn't that look so good, y'all? Even though that is not the color we're going to do. We're going to use this same glitter thing, and I'm going to put that on top. So what I'm going to do is go back to File, Place Embedded, Type in gold right there press place put that on top press enter and press create clipping mask and see right there that looks so great guys so what I'm gonna do when I if I decide to move this I'm going to link these two together so I'm gonna press my command key and I'm gonna click Prince Michael along with that so I'm going to link these together so to give this, this is a little flat, so I'm going to kind of bring some dimension to it. So what I'm going to do is double click on Prince Michael on the text. Let me move this out of the way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to press drop shadow. And I did not want that deep of a shadow. So I got to find the one. Well, I know. Okay, my distance. Okay. Spread. Let me turn this spread down some. And that's definitely not it. Okay, I think I want to keep it like that. Um, yeah. So, I got my words out of the way. So, that is looking great. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some things to it. So right here I have a crown. And I kind of want to put the crown on top of the P in Prince. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my move tool in this tab. I'm going to click on it and I'm going to drag this without releasing my finger on the clicker. I'm going to move this over here. I do not want that. Okay, here we go, here we go. I don't know what I did, you guys, but I got it. Uh, so what I'm going to do is press Command-T so I can move it. And I'm going to, first of all, I'm going to tilt it. Cause, and then, obviously, it's too big, so I'm going to shift and alt again. So I'm going to kind of move this in. I kind of want to shrink it in a little bit. And I'm going to move this. I want it on top, but... Obviously, this is, I'll figure it out. Uh, still a little too big. I'll say probably right there. And I'm going to move this. I really want this. Oh, that actually looks better than putting it right on the ladder. That actually looks good. So I might just leave it right there. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do is right here I have some balloons that I had got off of Google Images. And I'm going to click and drag those like I had did a while ago. So, put those right here. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to 
duplicate that layer so I can get another gold. And I'm about to put these over here. And as you can see, these lines really matter, you guys. See, those three lines mean that these balloons are in sync to the T, which is why I should move them. Mm. Yeah, right there. Okay, so I'm going to put some gold balloons now. So I'm going to take these. I think these are taller, so I actually might switch the position. These are huge. So I did my command T. Now I'm doing sh shift and alt. And so it, I do shift and alt so it can stay in place. Um, so it won't distort the image. So what I'm going to do is click on layer three, these balloons. And I'm going to switch these positions. I'm going to put those right there. And I'm going to put the gold balloons on the outside. See, and I'm going to click on my auto select right here because that's why it's not. See, if I click on this, it's going to move it. So that's what that was all about. Okay. So I'm going to that layer. I'm going to duplicate this layer so I can put it on the other side. I know this looks so disorganized right now, you guys. I'm getting it together for you. Right there. That's even. So what I'm going to do is I'm trying to get these balloons to come. Okay. So I think that this looks pretty great. And I think that I'm ready to go to... Snapchat and I'm ready to um, put it ready to submit it so before I do that I'm gonna have to make sure that this filter is ready for snapchat to be uploaded so what I'm gonna do is we can't use this background the black background it has to be transparent so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to click the eye and that turns off the black and that allows me to upload this to snapchat but i usually delete this because even though i'm not showing it it's really adding up space that really could be um not used i don't know how to explain it right now so what i'm gonna do to save this i'm gonna click on file save as and i usually save all this to my snapchat filters so what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna name it Baby shower. And see it says PSD. That's for Photoshop. So go down here to format to save it. I save it. I scroll down and press PNG. Portable Network Graphic Image. Or something like that. I forgot the name of it. So now it says PNG. That's the only way that you can upload um, this to um, Snapchat. So I'm going to press save. And I already have it saved, so I'm not going to press replace. And that's all you have to do. So that's how I make my filters. Um, if you want to get in contact with me, if you need help making filters or anything of that nature, then um, be definitely... Uh, uh. <laughs> Definitely comment below if you have any questions, and I will reply to your comments. Um, also, follow me on my social media. Subscribe to my channel if you want more videos like this. Um, this one was already made, so I'm going to just make sure that I probably have one from scratch that I don't know what I'm going to do to it, and I'll just show you guys how I process it and everything of how I want it. So, that's the end of this video. Peace out and see y'all in the next video. Bye.